Okay, sixth grade, lesson 101. This one, this one is on ratio problems, and this time we're adding totals to it. We're also doing totals. So, you remember our box? We made a ratio box. And we um, did like boys to girls, things like that. Now we're gonna do boys to girls and a total, which is a good thing because we're learning how to do totals with it. So, up here I'll put you put an R for ratio, and AC for actual count, okay? And then instead of two rows, we're gonna do three rows, okay? So, this one is the ratio of parents to children. So I'm gonna put a P for parents, C for children, all right? And then T for total. Or you can even actually out, write out total if you want to, if it helps you, okay? So listen to this. The ratio of parents to children at the picnic was five to four. Five to four, parents to children. Now, if it said children to parents, then I would have put four to five. Do you see that? Yep. All right. And then if there were 27 picnickers, how many of them were children? So where would actual count 27 go? With the parents, children, or total? Total. Total. 27 picnickers. <laughs> Okay, now they, that's all the information they've given us. But what did they ask and what question? How many of them were children? So this is the actual information we don't know about. Okay, now, can I find a total for this box by looking at this? I think so. Yep, five and four is Will nine. You... Oh, wait, what? Okay. So we're taking oh, the ratio, there were five parents to every four children. Yeah. So that makes a total of nine parents and children when you're looking at a ratio. Okay. Okay, but now we're gonna figure out total. There's 27 total people there. How many are parents and parents and how many are children? Okay, now, what you wanna do to figure out this answer is, is you wanna use a row that you know everything about. I know both my boxes. Okay. Got it? And then I'm going to take a row that you want to know about. That one. Okay. We're not even going to worry about that one. That was there to help us figure out this answer right here. Okay. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this 4 and this 9 and put them on top of each other. 4 over 9 okay. equals, um, let's label that C for children, C over 27. Now, there's two ways of doing this. I'm gonna show you the easiest way first. Can I look at this, and what would I do to get to 27 from nine? Uh, nine times something. Nine times three would equal 27. So guess what? Times three, this answer is gonna be 12. Now, okay. before we continue on, let's go on and do this one. And this one would be 15. So 15 plus 12, does that equal 27? Mm -hmm. Yep, then we're right. Okay, but let's say you couldn't figure out this thing in the middle that's called function to figure out the rest of the information. <clears throat> then here's what you would do. You would put the one row that you know what you, well, not that you don't know anything about, but what you want to know about this row right here. And then you take the row that you know everything about, because remember this number wasn't here, okay? You take the row that you know everything about and the row that you know something about, but you want to know that one. And then you put them in this little pattern. Okay. These are called equivalent fractions. And then you cross multiply them. Nine times C equals 27 times four. What is 27 times four? So four times seven is 28. Eight, nine, 10, 108. So nine times what? equals 108. We have to divide. Now let's see what we get. Nine times 12. 12. So C equals 12. And that's what this C is right here. C equals 12. Okay, but we figured out how to do it easier just by looking at the function, okay? Let's try another one and we'll do them both ways again to see um, if you can figure it out, okay? Um, next problem. And I want you to tell me how to set up the ratio box. The ratio of football players to band members 
on the football field was two to five. Altogether, there were 175 football players and band members on the football field. How many football players were on the field? Okay, okay so here we go. Let's do a ratio box. Okay. What, what, oh, we got ratio and actual count. Okay, what are the two things we're comparing? Uh, football players and band members. Football and band. Okay, and then I have my total. Right? All right, so listen to them again. The ratio of football players to band members was two to five. You got that? Mm -hmm. All together, there were 175 football players and band members. Where would that go? Uh, actual count total. Yep, 175. Actual count total, 175. Then the question is, how many football players are on the field? What are they wanting to know? That one? Yep. Yep. So I'm going to put an F. Okay. Now, can I determine either of these boxes that we're missing stuff from? What I can mean? figure out this total, can I? Yeah. So 5 plus 2 is 7. seven. All right. Can I figure out a 7 times something to go into 175? Uh, I think so. Let's try it. I'm not sure if we can. We'll try it. 7 times 2 is 14. 35. 7 times 5. So, it's going to be 25 to get our function. So, 25 times 5 is 125. And 2 times 25 is 50. So, how many football players were on the field? 50. 50. Okay. Does 125 plus 50 equal 175? Yeah. So, we know we've done it right. Okay, but let's say we couldn't figure out the function. What are you supposed to do? Uh, divide, I think. Okay, well, no, you set up the ratio. Yep, we set up the ratio and box. Then, okay, what are they wanting to know? Football players? No. Okay. So you do 2 so, over 5. No, it would be 5 over 7. Okay, wait a minute. You take a, a, ro a row that you know everything about and a row that you want to know about. And you put them on top of each other. Two over seven. Yeah. Equals F over, over one seventy five. So I go seven times F, which we don't know what it is. Right. Yet. And one hundred seventy five times two. two. Let's see what that is. Two. Three, no. Two three fifty. Three fifty. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So three fifty equals seven times F. So then, how do I figure out what F is? You do, uh... 7 times F equals 350. Yeah. So what would I do? Um... I don't know. I okay. forgot. Okay. I think you'd... Well, how do we know what uh, F is yet? We don't. 7 times what equals 350. How do oh, I figure out okay, that problem? Oh, okay, I got you. So we just estimate, right? And we do seven no. times something and until we get it. Right, sort of. But what is that problem called that we're working? Multiplication. Division. 350 divided by 7. Oh. Because you're multiplying I, 7 I times what, what? Yeah. 7 times what equals 350. Okay. 7 times what equals 350. 35. Okay. We can do. So 7 times 5, uh, five. is 35. Bring down my zero, seven times zero, and that is it. So, 50. F equals 50, which is what we discovered earlier yeah. by doing our function. But, okay, do I have to answer this problem? No. No. What did they ask me? How many football players there are? You would say 50, and that would be it. You don't even have to worry about that. Now, can I figure out what this is based on these two numbers? Yeah. Yeah, I know that this is 125 because 125 plus 50 is 175. So like you got it? Yeah. All right. That is lesson 101.